this is not how I remember going to school in Birmingham. There were no placards, no protest songs. But for more and more children, this is now the reality. In a desperate attempt to balance the books, more than a dozen head teachers in Birmingham have cut the school week to just four and a half days. Give me time. Give me time. So why are schools taking such drastic action? And will the government's promise to give schools billions more solve the problem? These are implications for the future of this country. Give us five days a week, this is unfair. If we're talking about this being about blood sucking or anything like that, then I'm not too sure I feel quite comfortable with it. I can hear my Nigerian mother saying, stay away from these people, they are evil. So there's technically no one on the island? There's no one, you know, just marine iguanas. So is that the safest war ever seen in the history of the world? <laughs> yes, there's been no shooting so far. <laughs> there's no one to shoot at. <laughs> Blue to Michael, take me to visit the Panapakita Club. I don't care what they say. It's a favoured vampire haunt in downtown Dallas. That was a surprisingly enjoyable experience. It really was, but what I'm not looking forward to is what's about to happen now. He's about to feed off her. And as wonderful as they are as a couple, I'm not ready for the blood, man. Hello, Ayo Akimwalera here for Inside Out West Midlands. So glad you could join us. So for our first story this evening, we're looking at universities because half of young people in England go to uni. But for Romani Love from Birmingham, it didn't live up to her expectations. As a black woman, she thinks many black students just don't think uni is for them. So we asked her to tell us why. And here's what she had to say. Let's see, how many of you guys are Muslims? When you see that stuff on extremism and terrorism, how does it make you feel? Like, because you guys seem like peaceful guys to me. Man. It actually makes me angry. When I see, when I see these guys um, and, and they're creating a bad name for us, I actually look at the TV screen and I think, you know what, I want to punch you on. It's the first time I've ever been on a boat like this and it's absolutely pitch black. You can't see anything. I mean, that's why I've had to turn on night vision. We are miles and miles and miles away from any sort of civilization or land. They, I'm really scared, I'm really scared a little bit, um, but I just want to take this on because I know when I finish it, I'm going to feel so good. I'll see for myself the stunt riders in action. Does it ever cross your mind that maybe one day you might end up hitting someone? Um, to be honest, no. And I'm in for a few surprises. Hold on, you, you're a father and your son does it with you. They seem to be everywhere, but what are they? These canisters are empty. They were once filled with nitrous oxide. Some people call it laughing gas. They are used as a quick way of getting high. And it's just kind of snowballed into quite a big community of people that want to talk about 90s football. I mean, I'm trying to sometimes figure out where the order is. I just feel like you guys are just chucking it out there. Is there some actual structure to it? <laughs> <laughs> The great thing about the fan zone, and later on, this place is going to be absolutely heaving with loads of rugby fans. There's going to be food, there's going to be live music, and there's going to be the odd beer flowing as well. And look who I'm joined by two very wonderful humans Big Tackle Ferry, Nolly Waterman, and also local lass Sarah Hunter, MBE, and England captain as well. Now, you guys are on the coffees a bit too early. Is this just nursing a hangover from last night, or what are we doing? No, just a bit of caffeine to kickstart the day, you know? Keep pushing our, our, our youths into the right direction. So we've got the campaign Think Outside the Blocks. Did you come up with that? I came up with that, <laughs> of course yeah. You did, of course you so did. basically, to get these kids to think bigger than what they can achieve, to think bigger than the gangs, think bigger than knife crime, think bigger than guns and drugs. One second, we're just filming. Yeah, just give it two seconds, we're just filming. Robbie, we've barely walked five minutes, man, and you're being mobbed by so many people. <laughs> Did you realise it was going to be so popular with so many fans? No, I didn't. I mean, I knew, I've, I've always thought at the beginning that it'd be, be popular because obviously it's a huge club. What about away fans? Let's say you're at United now. Do mm. they come and want a picture as well? Yeah, yeah. Away fans are, are great as well. I've, I'd say practically every ground that I go to. Even wins. at Tottenham? Well. <laughs> <laughs>